Hello, and welcome to our lesson on enlargement. In this lesson, we're going to enlarge an object on a grid using a center and a scale factor. So like I said, to perform an enlargement, you need a scale factor. This determines the size of the enlarged image, and we need a center. A common misconception with enlargement is that it only makes objects bigger. An enlargement can reduce the size of an object so in this question the scale factor is two so it will make the image twice as big as the object and the center is the origin so to perform an enlargement we need to use what's called a ray and this is the key word for today a ray is a line that passes through the vertices and the center and we can draw this using a ruler so I'm going to use a ruler to align this vertex with the center. And then I just draw a line through the center and the vertex. And this is a ray. I'll do the same through a different vertex. And this is another ray. And I'll do the same through the final vertex. So now I've created three rays, I'm going to enlarge the object. So to go to the yellow vertex at one one, I need to go one across and one up. So I'm going to double this now because the scale factor is two. So another one across and another one up. So the vertex at one one is enlarged to the coordinate two two. I'll do the same for the text here. So two across and one up. Again, two across and one up. We know it's right because it lies along the same ray. And we'll do the final vertex at 1, 4, which is 1 across and 4 up. So another 1 across and another 4 up. And again, it lies along the same ray. So all I do now is recreate the object using the enlarged vertices. And we know this is right because the object has a base of one, the image has a base of two, and this is twice as big. The perpendicular height is three on the object and six on the image. Okay, so let's try the next question. Okay, so do you want to make a copy of this object and the grid on squared paper? And then you can pause the lesson and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we know the image will be three times as big. The scale factor is three, and the center is at three zero, which is three across and zero up. So now we're going to draw the rays from a center to each vertex. We'll start off with this one. So here's the first vertex, and the next one. And I'll just do two more. Okay, so now I'm going to find the position of this vertex when it's enlarged by a scale factor of three. So I'll go one across and one up, but I'm going to do that three times. So that's two times and that's three times. So this vertex at four one is enlarged to the coordinate six three. And I'll do the same for the coordinate at 1, 1 by going 2 across and 1 up. I'll do that 3 times. That's 2. And finally, for this vertex, is enlarged to here. So now I can draw this base enlarged to 9. And then I know that this vertex is 1 up from here. But I'm going to enlarge that by 3. So 3 up. The same for the other vertex at 6, 3. I know this is 1 across, so I'm going to enlarge it by 3. I know it's right because it falls along the same ray. I'm going to go up by 3. And then I can finish this image off. And I'm going to use another ray to check it works. So a ray should pass through the vertex at 2, 2. And 0, 6, 
and through the center. And you can see that this works. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.